so frustrating because we used to trying to figure it out with the mind we used to trying to figure it out with the mind and this is unfathomable for the mind the mind has no chance here you see so when the question comes like this which now seems so easy and natural here i remember there was a time where the same reaction would come but what is this i or even what is this i am it's so frustrating i just can't find it i can't figure it out i know this feeling and at some level it's good because the mind sh- this one should give up is it one that is trying to figure it out should give up and then it just very simple looking i know you say i know that there is an i who doesn't know who i am to the mind these words are so complicated you see these words are so complicated to the mind but very simply we just looking at you saying i don't know who i am but right at the beginning there's an i that you know doesn't know who it is so we know this i but it is not known mentally we cannot make a picture out of it and that is what becomes frustrating to the mind because the mind wants to give us a good answer maybe a good diagram to go with the answer so that we can get full marks on this question who am i but it is not it is not a test question like that it is only an encouragement to look not an encouragement to think just an encouragement to look who is it that is here now who am i there's such a f- sense of frustration right now yes but the good thing about the inquiry is that anything coming up can be used in the inquiry <laughs> so you say so much frustration is coming i don't hear that as something bad actually i say this is an opportunity to check who witnesses this frustration is that also frustrated i uh, know it's not yes so are you that frustration or are you the witness of it primarily well at the moment i am the witness of it yes now try to not be the witness and become the content how will you do it well it's almost like entering back into that there's like this sensation this energy of frustration that was something like diving back in there okay do it let's see it <laughs> okay um i can't do it now <laughs> <laughs> you can never do it it's only an idea that i can do it the witnessing oh. is always just the witnessing itself it only seems like i went back into the personal into the person but no person has actually ever existed only our attention can go to this content content but that to which attention is reporting is not fixated with it is not stuck in it is not bound by it it is only the thoughts which will tell you that now you are stuck in this stuff and you have the power to pretend by believing these thoughts but in reality you could never be stuck therefore in nowhere for you to go you are here already as that awareness there's distractions that come up like memories and suddenly yes, yes. instead of me first said that there's some memories that pop up yes but we can use even that say this distraction is coming up this memory is coming up who is witnessing that is the witnessing also distracted you see so everything coming up actually this world is dual purpose <laughs> if the urge is to play as a person then everything that comes up in the world we can use to take personally and to get deeper in the personal idea you see 
But if the mm-hmm. urge is to now discover who we are, then everything that is appearing in the world can be used to point back at the witnessing of it and to check who is it that sees this and to come to our true realization of the self. You see, so same world, same content can be there. But depending on the urge, it can be used differently. Well, the urge is to be free, for sure. It's all, you know, it's beyond. I want to be happy, and I, I don't want to suffer anymore. I mean, I don't want to suffer anymore, and I want to be happy. But the stronger urge is, I want to be free. I want to, I want to know that I'm free. Put it that way. Yes, yes, I know this because. You cannot come to, my feeling is that if the urge were just for some superficial or phenomenal happiness, then you would not be here for the second satsang. After the first, something would get so tortured, this idea of personhood would get so tortured that you will never want to come back to the second satsang. <laughs> so because you're, you're here so often, then I know it cannot just be about some superficial sense of happiness. Mm, no, no. The sense of personhood who wants this sense of being happy, it is pure torture to be in satsang because it doesn't <laughs> like the question, who am I? It doesn't like these uh, these things which, uh, which we are saying, which is that we do, you don't exist as a person. You are truly non-phenomenal and all these appearances don't matter. They don't have meaning. You see? So it doesn't like... The sense of person who doesn't like this. So if you can come again for satsang, that means there must be a primal urge here for some freedom. You see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this actually doesn't mean that if you're coming for a few satsangs, doesn't mean that you will come to the end of your, although that is my blessing, that all of you come to your, the end of your conditioning, but sometimes we cross something, like we might have a spiritual experience or an awakening experience or some spiritual experience and something says, I want to take ownership of this. This was so good. I have discovered that I am God. You see? So it wants to use that as fresh conditioning. And then after coming to these kind of experiences, we might get seemingly waylaid from the end of all conditioning because then we start adding new conditioning about ourselves which is specialness, arrogance, pride, just spiritual ego basically which is the most common reason people stop coming to satsang is because they believe that they have become special people now. I would say, I would go as far as to say that more more these seemingly leave satsang because of specialness than actually leave satsang because of true contentment and realization of the self. It can also be that there comes a time where all of these words which seem so blissful and nice then start seeming boring and dull and same, same. <laughs> you see, so the mind can also come with this kind of resistance and say, but he's just saying the same, same stuff. You see? So it comes with this kind of resistance also and says, okay, enough, I feel you've got enough now. Now you just, you can be independent. You don't need the, the, this anymore. 